Okay, so the next step in the process is to uh, sand down this comm surface and so it's all nice and shiny and flat. So right now there's some waviness to it for sure and uh, there's also a pattern in that uh, surface that's um, it's basically a PC board so it's got kind of a hash pattern in it. You want to get rid of all that. You want this thing to be nice and shiny and flat. So um, what I use here, because I, I do a lot of these, so I, I got this uh, kit from VRP and uh, it includes um, this guy, which is which will fit into my Dremel tool. Also comes with one of these uh, nice little um, cleaners that you can use, you know, for for cleaning, for, you know, on race day or whatever. You can go in and you know, kind of hit it with that and, and clean it up. Uh, for this one, this goes in the Moto tool, and um, I, I put a nice heavy grit uh, piece on it. There's a that's 400 grit. I want to get this done quickly. Uh, why waste time, right? So it's 400 grit. It's pretty aggressive, and uh, so basically, I'm just going to put this in the moto tool here, tighten it up, and then uh, I've got some water here. I'm going to I'm going to do this wet. It it works a little better wet. It doesn't make a big mess. I mean, it's going to be kind of a slurry on here and kind of a gross thing, but at least it doesn't shoot uh, dust and crud all over the room. Um, and I think the sandpaper lasts a little longer this way. I, I can do several arms with, with one of these and get them nice and flat. So basically I just kind of dunk this in the water. I got a little water on the tip and uh, just hold it on here. And I'll just hit a few times. The switch is going bad on my moto tool. And that one's a nice quick one. So when you're done, you see all that kind of slurry on there. I'm just going to wipe that off with a rag. Look at that. This was a quick one. Sometimes it takes another, you know, you got to put a little more water on it, do a little more. It might take up to a minute to get them down. And you can't take more than a, like a thou off or, or so because this this copper coating is only about two thou thick. So, you know, you got you to gotta get it pretty close to flat to start. So uh, anyway, so when you're all done, with that, got that step finished, and then you come back and you double check your uh, flatness and make sure you're good. So I'll put this dude back into Scale Engineering TGT1 Com Checker and run it around. Looks like about a half a thou to me. That's that's good. Okay. And then uh, usually I'll check the ohms too, just to make sure I haven't busted anything in the meantime. So uh, anyway, that's that's it for this step. All right, here's another one. Uh, this is a different arm, and um, you can see this one shows a definite wave pattern to it. So I've ran, I've been sanding this for about 10 seconds, maybe total time. By the way, I should mention that you don't want to sit there and just let it run and run and run. You'll burn the armature up. Um, you know, burn the comm up. So I yeah, usually, you know, have water on there, which was going to limit the temperature anyway, and never hold it steady for more than like three seconds or so. Anyway, you can see where it's touched all the way around here, kind of like a U shape, but it isn't touched here on the inside, and there's a gap here. So this is kind of the other end of the spectrum. This one's pretty crummy, so it's going to take a little time to to sand it down. Hopefully, I can get it all done without burning all the way through the comm anywhere. So uh, off we go here. Put a little more water on that with my finger. And come on. Well, that switch is really getting bad. Okay, so with more time. getting pretty close. Now you can you see there's a couple of spots here that still aren't quite through or they're still dull. So here, here, a little spot over here. So with a little bit more work, if the switch will cooperate with me on my Dremel.
you get the slurry all over your fingers too. It's kind of nice. So um, it's just about there. I, I think I'll cut the video here, but there's a just a little bit, a little bit of a dead spot right there, and just tiny bit out here, and maybe a little right there in the middle. So it's it's pretty much done. Another five seconds of cleaning this dude right up. But uh, anyway, that's just another example of kind of the other end of the spectrum. The first one was so easy, it came right in, and this one was pretty wavy to start with, so it's a little more work. But I'd say this is probably one of the worst ones. I mean, I might, I might have close to, I don't know, 30 seconds of grind time on this thing. And it's getting pretty close.